Hey, what's happening guys? Today we are going to talk a little bit more about function generators and oscilloscopes. And the function generator we're using today is of course the Siglin SDG1032X, a two-channel 30 megahertz function generator. It is available in a 60 megahertz version, but we only have the 30 megahertz version. Now, we've already talked a lot about uh, oscilloscopes and waves and stuff like that. Now let's go over here and dig into the oscilloscope. We'll zoom in here real good. Now I have the function generator set up for a four volt peak to peak, one kilohertz sine wave. I'm gonna activate the channel and there you can see it. Now, what you're seeing is what's called Y over time. So our horizontal axis, our X axis is time our vertical axis, our y-axis, is voltage. So what we're actually seeing is the voltage climbing and descending over time. But there is another mode on your oscilloscope called XY mode, where the x-axis is actually driven by the second channel. And this is what causes the Lisajou patterns to appear on your scope. So if we go into the display menu and we select XY, what we get now is this. Since they are in phase, the X axis is driven by channel 2. So it drives it up and it drives it down. The Y axis is driven by channel 1, which drives it up and drives it down. Again, because they are in phase and the frequencies are locked. So let's go back to X over time. And just to show you, I'm gonna move channel two down so you can see it is exactly the same as channel one. Oopsies. And we'll go back to our XY pattern. So if I change the phase of one of these. I'm going to change the phase of channel 2, which is our X channel, our horizontal channel, and let's change it to 90 degrees. Well, now we have a circle. What if I change it to 45 degrees? Well, now we have an ellipse, and you can sort of see how these relate to each other. All right, I'm gonna change it back to zero. So now we have that line. What if I change the frequency of this one from one kilohertz to two kilohertz? Well, look at that. Now we've got a bow tie pattern. And what if I change the phase to say 90 degrees out of phase? Now that's interesting, isn't it? Now, what if I change the frequency just a little? So instead of 2.000000, we're gonna go 2.0001. And now we have some rotation. So if I put our phase back to zero, you see the pattern doesn't change, but the direction of the rotation changes. Here's 45 degrees, 100 and let's go 270. As you can see, everything stays the same, only the direction changes. But what if we change the frequency to say four kilohertz? Well, now we have this interesting little pattern, don't we? Now let's go 4.0002 kilohertz. 
Well, would you look at that? We're back to that bow tie pattern again. Now at 4.0001 kilohertz, we have a rotating crown pattern. And there are many different relationships here that will get you all sorts of different shapes. And if you've ever seen uh, what they call oscilloscope music, this is how it's done. It's a pretty neat function. Let's, uh, just for shits and giggles, I'm going to go back to one kilohertz on this channel. I'm going to switch over to our Y channel and let's go 4.0001 kilohertz. And you see we've shifted the rotation of our figure 90 degrees. And if we take it out of phase by say 45 degrees, again, our pattern stays the same. And the only thing that changes is the rotation. Now, if we go back and look at this in our Y over time mode, you can see how things have really changed. So that is just a quick intro to Lisa Ju Patterns. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. And if you have any questions about the function generator, get a hold of the guys at Siglent. They're excellent. Um, you can email info at siglentamerica.com. That's it for today. If you enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you next time.